Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be explaining an FAQ topic. I'm finally doing this! Finally doing FAQ topics! <laughs> For those of you that have followed the stream and like, <laughs> Anthony, when are you going to follow your FAQ? It's been two years! Do it! Um, but yeah, I'm finally going to record some stuff that kind of explains several of the frequently asked questions. And the first of those is, what is your operating system and what, why, <laughs> etc. Uh, so let's just jump into that. So. From my stream, it may appear that I use Ubuntu, or some Linux distribution, it happens to be Ubuntu. Um, and I do when I stream programming, I, I'll, I'll use Ubuntu and I do all of my development inside of this. Uh, but many times you will realize that I tab out and you may realize that this is in fact not actually Ubuntu and I am running Ubuntu in a virtual machine. And, um, and the reason for this is, is uh, <laughs> I use Windows for a lot of other stuff, and I've used Windows for almost, what, like 20-ish 20, 20 years, and so I'm, I'm familiar with all of the technology on it, and like, it's, it's like a little safe space for me, and like, I know how all the things work. Uh, I also play some amount of computer video games, and I know, video gaming on Linux has come a long way in the last, you know, five to ten years, but uh, it's still much easier to get started and, and work with you know, Steam and other things on Windows, and so I've kind of stuck to Windows for playing video games. Uh, additionally, there are some programs on Windows that function better than they do on Linux. Uh, one specific example of that is OBS itself, which is the technology that I use to record my videos and to stream to YouTube. Um, and so I, I run Windows as, um, as my operating system there. Uh, another question that gets asked as a follow-up, so uh, you're using a virtual machine, so how do you set that up? And actually, I'll, I'll link below a video which I've done on this topic where I show you how I set up my virtual machine um, and how I install the software and kind of get the base OS set up. Um, and I'll link another video below that also talks about how I install software on my machine. Um, and some people might ask, so uh, you're running Ubuntu, but what, what version of Ubuntu? Uh, I tend to stick to the LTS releases, which are the even-numbered versions and the 04 subversion of those. So those are, for instance, this is 2004, which are, was released in 2020, and the fourth month of 2020, which is January, February, March, April. Uh, and in 2022, there will be another LTS release, and I will upgrade to that at that time, etc., etc. And the reason that I prefer LTS over the uh, either the nightly rolling release or the periodically released uh, Ubuntu is I prefer stability in my operating system um, and the way they freeze packages and you know don't make major changes allows me to keep a, a stable operating system where software doesn't kind of you know get pulled out from under me as I'm I'm working on it um, and you know LTS provides a, a, a decent baseline for that. Um, I, and, and then the next question is, so why are you using Ubuntu? Why don't you use Fedora or Arch Linux or Gentoo or some other fun, more fun flavor? Uh, and the reason that I use Ubuntu is again, a, a class of familiarity. I've used Ubuntu since about 2010. So it's, I guess, 10 years of, of working in Ubuntu. Um, and I'm familiar with the package manager. I'm really good at using apt. I also kind of understand how the you know, the, the general processes of Debianism and like all the all the packaging and other stuff that goes into that. Uh, but additionally, I also develop some packages for Ubuntu. So I maintain a PPA, a personal package archive uh, that's called Dead Snakes, and it backports and forward ports Pythons for Ubuntu. And so um, if I'm, you know, targeting Ubuntu, I'm probably going to run Ubuntu, which makes a lot of sense. Um, what else? What else gets asked along these lines? I think that's about it. Um, oh, another one that gets asked is like, oh, do you, why don't you use dual boot? And the problem for me with dual boot is context switching between the two. Like if I need to restart my computer to switch operating systems, that's kind of a lot of work. Uh, that said, on some of my other computers, I do dual boot or, you know, only boot into Linux. Uh, for instance, my media machine in my living room only runs Linux, doesn't run Windows. Um, and again, that's <laughs> that one's a little bit easier to manage because all it does is play YouTube basically. And so that's, that's pretty easy. Um, I also, when I worked at a company, I 
currently unemployed, although that's dating this video. Um, I dual booted Linux and Mac OS on that because I needed to run Mac OS to support developers, but I strongly prefer Linux as a development environment. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, one other thing. I use a virtual machine because I often break the machine as well. Uh, when I'm fussing with packaging, like it's pretty easy to brick a machine and it's a little bit more work to install to the hardware. Uh, but with a virtual machine, I can use snapshotting. I don't use snapshotting because I'd rather just start up from scratch, but I could use snapshotting. Um, and starting over from scratch is relatively easy with a virtual machine. Um, I also can, you know, manage a bunch of different virtual machines at the same time. So I can, you know, run older versions of VM. I can actually probably delete this VM because I haven't used it in a while, or I can sandbox things and other things, or I can try out new operating systems this way. Oh, which reminds me of another question uh, people often ask. So why aren't you using Windows subsystem for Linux? And uh, the reason for that is it requires a particular hypervisor, I believe Hyper-V at the time of recording this. And Hyper-V is not compatible with VirtualBox. Uh, so you, you could use one or the other and that would break my, my usage of, of virtual machines. Um, I've heard really great things about Windows subsystem for Linux, but I'd, at this point, I'd rather just use a virtual machine to do this. Anyway, hopefully that answers some of those questions, um, and there'll be a few other videos that explain some other topics like this. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.